Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting into astral sorcery, even more, learning how to fly, and also setting up a liquid quarry. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so back at it with some more astral sorcery. I know you guys are probably loving this. I'm actually really enjoying uh, this trip through astral sorcery. Um, I have actually learned quite a lot about this mod, and today we're going to move even further and I went ahead and made this sword. Uh, it's pretty easy to make in the Luminous Crafting Table. You can use uh, whatever crystals you decide to use. Um, I went ahead and used uh, some of the, I mean, not really high tier crystals, because um, this thing ended up with a 92% uh, percent purity. Um, so it really wasn't that high, but anything above 90 is probably gonna be great. So don't worry about that. But uh, what I need to do with this thing now, after I've made it in the Crafting Table, or Luminous Crafting Table, I need to throw it in here. So, let's go ahead and throw it in here, and if you have these tanks placed here, um, they're actually going to drain from adjacent uh, light wells. As crazy as that sounds, it actually pulls from adjacent light wells. So it's actually been pulling from these over here and filling up, and these guys are maxed out. Um, so watch this. Uh, normally, if you were to, to hit this thing, uh, it, would, it would literally use every single portion of the light here. And would take a little bit of time this way it's just almost instant and it uses very little like you can see here didn't really use that much light uh, not many buckets but now we have this sword with a special ability and uh, a pretty good special ability at that um whenever i strike an enemy right now it'll be pretty high it does 14 attack damage is what it says um, I don't know what it does with the, uh, like, boost, with the bonus that it has. Um, but if we can get this bunny and maybe be able to use the, the thing on the bunny, I don't know if I'll be able to catch a bunny. But, there it goes. So as you can see, yeah. It just completely roasted that bunny. Um, and I guess whenever it starts flashing again, it's ready to attack again. But yeah, each one of the tools has its own different, I mean, it has its own ability. Um, and there's some really cool abilities that this uh, these tools have, especially the tree, the, the axe. The axe is really cool. Um, it literally harvests the tree and adjacent trees and drags them to your uh, to your location, which is kind of cool. And the pick does uh, something uh, similar with uh, digging in a, a, a pretty large radius. But today we have more work to do. Other than that, we have uh, I want to get flight uh, with uh, this mod. Oh, looks like that's going in the light well. I didn't want that to actually go there, but maybe it'll stay out of the light well. Um, but yeah, I want to work a little bit more with this. I want to get flight, and uh, we're going to try and do that. I do have a lot of the stuff here to be able to do such. And uh, yeah, we're going to try that, and then we're also going to try and um, complete this quest, the Extracting li Liquids. It says, with the, uh, the potent starlight power, I can extract liquids from the ground. I wonder what liquids uh, I will find on this moon. So that's a key word. I wonder what is found, but we need to make this fossic re resonator. Um, the uh, Neromatic Prime, right? Neromatic and the Everlast Everlasting Fountain. So these are some things that we need to make. And plus, I think we also need um, one of these guys, another chalice. I think, or we could probably use other tanks. I don't exactly know. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to become nighttime and we can get some of this stuff started. How cool. All right, guys. So one of the first things I want to make is the mantle of the star. So I went ahead and got all the stuff ready uh, for that. So we can kind of get this thing done a little bit faster. But the mantle of the stars is the base for um, getting it even further into um, all the effects that you can get from Astral Sorcery. So one of the effects I want to get is to turn this into basically a, an elytra, which would be really nice for flight. Um, and it's it's pretty simple to get. So all we gotta do is make a mantle of the star first. So feather, ender pearl, um, we need uh, stardust and our ingot and this little setup. And let's go ahead and activate it. And make sure we have all these things in our hot bar. And you can already see it's asking for a feather. Uh, what is it gonna want next? Ender Pearl. There we go. And this one only requires four, I do believe. 
Stardust. And it should ask for an ingot. And this one's actually pretty simple. Pretty simple setup. Shouldn't ask for anything else. Should just actually complete the craft. So, while it's doing that, um, I actually want to get the VCO. This is the one that I want to make next. Now, this is going to require this to actually be out at night. And, oop. Oh, look. Hey. I can actually break you and get a spark from you. Nice. So, um, what I want to make sure is that's actually in the sky. So, is it in the sky? I don't see it. So, we're probably going to have to wait till a couple of nights away. This almost looks like there's a an actual constellation here. I do believe there is another constellation here and here. Like these have to be new constellations that I haven't found yet. As you can see, these kind of look like they are connected. These are brighter stars. Um, kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to figure that out eventually. <laughs> I know there's other constellations. Once you attune yourself, um, you can find more constellations. But uh, now we at least have the mantle of the stars. And we can go ahead and get this thing set up and, um, and ready to go. We're going to need to set it up with Vizio. So we'll take this. Throw that in there. Um, that is the one that we want. As you can see, it is shown here. But I don't believe it's in the sky right now. But we can go ahead and get this thing set up. Uh, we need VCO, this one right here. It is going to get feathers surrounded by stardust. So not too difficult. Feathers surrounded by stardust. And that's going to give us this one. Now, I don't know if it's saying we can craft it or not. Maybe we can. Uh, we need raw fish, feather, sugar, and string. So. Raw fish, feather, sugar, string. And that should be everything. Maybe we can craft it. I was thinking maybe it wasn't, uh, the constellation wasn't out, but maybe it doesn't require the constellation to be seen or not. I don't know, but it'll be nice whenever we get this thing. Uh, this isn't the only thing I want to get, but this is going to be setting us up for flight. And there we go. So that should craft that fully. And then I actually want to turn my resonating wand into something special as well. So the VCO for the resonating wand is also another one. Looks like that requires sugarcane and arrows. Which I don't have sugarcane, but we do have the mantle of the stars now. How cool is that? Um, I don't know how to activate it. <laughs> uh, maybe it's... I don't know. I'll, I may have to look this up, how to actually use this thing. But, it should work. Right? I think it's, it's supposed to be like flight. I could be totally wrong. I think it says it in our book, though. Let me take another gander in her book. Okay, so, Mantle of the Stars, okay, options be focused, and if we look under the constellations, under Visio, this right here, um, this attunement easily, okay, burdens of travel, reducing your weight to ride the currents. Allowing you to fly like one would with the elytra. I thought it was like a double... A double tap, like a glide. But that could be... That we need... A good running start. There we go. Perfect. That's so weird. I'm so not used to using the elytra. Yeah, this feels very weird being able to fly like this. 
And you can basically, that's like infinite flight on this planet anyways. Yeah, it's just like infinite flight. Look at that. We can basically fly anywhere now. How cool, guys. Wow. I'm super inter... That's so cool. Yeah, let's fly, guys. Like, look at this. Did you just... That's so cool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying this. We may not even need that wand. The wand would be nice to kind of get us jump started. But, I mean, <laughs> we, we have some flying going on, guys. This is really cool. All right, so let's get on with our next thing. It was kind of funny because uh, I actually had another resonating wand for this recipe that I'm about to make now, which actually requires another one. Um, because you were given one as a quest and I needed one prior to that, it's kind of a, kind of funny that I actually have another one. So, this works out really well, because we're going to make a, basically a slingshot, which is kind of what this is, which is going to help out with our flight. Um, this thing is really cool, by the way, but uh, it's going to be really helpful. Um, and it's made the same way as our other, uh, our other stuff that we've been working on. It uses Visio or Visio, and it needs four feathers, and then we should be able to get a nicer resonating wand. Pretty cool, or at least a resonating wand with a power. Um, we can actually make every resonating wand that's in the pack, and each one has its own power. One is like for growth and things like that, which we can grow plants really fast, which I think would be awesome. But yeah, but this thing should be really helpful. You pull it back like a slingshot. And then it shoots you in the air. Wow. And then, of course, activate your flight. And you can use this thing while you have your flight on. And yeah, just kind of fly around and do your thing. Kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to uh, kind of getting some more quests done. I think that's going to be very helpful. Um, we do have a few other quests, like getting these things going. And uh, moving on, we can actually probably make uh, this, the Shining Star, which of course is another star. So, let's go ahead and get that stuff ready. Alright, so before we can make this uh, Nether Star, we actually need to make the Shifting Star. Um, and this guy is actually pretty useful. Um, what you can use it for is if you hold the item whenever we get it done in your hand, and you, you right-click with it, and hold it, it will remove the attunement that is on you, so you could reattune yourself to something different. That is exactly what it's used for. Um, I'm not going to use it because I have my attunement maxed out right now, so I don't really want to bother with it. As you can see, my hunger has not even depleted at all since I started the episode. And yeah, that's exactly what it does. It completely negates your hunger. Um, even though I do notice a bug where none of my hearts are regening, so... I don't know why I don't have an extra set of uh, hearts, but that is a thing. So yeah, let's take the Attune Crystal, throw that in there. Uh, this needs a, to have Avatos on it, and this is exactly how this is going to be done. So we need a Mana Diamond, this, and a Spark, which is funny, we just got a Spark, which is kind of hilarious. And it's going to be this kind of circle with uh, four buckets, so we are going to have to go get some buckets. And that is about it. I think this, yeah, this is just surrounded by this. Then the next layer is uh, Stardust. Okay. There's the Stardust. It looks like I'm going to have to make some more Stardust soon. Then Illumination Powder. Like that. And then we're going to need some buckets. We're going to need four buckets. So, yeah, we're going to have to go back to the base. And grab some of those lovely buckets. If not, just make some. Now look at there. Four. Perfect. Um, and then we need a mana diamond. 
which is super easy to obtain that. And there we go. So we should be able to head back. I think that's everything we need. And, uh, oh, that was loud. And yeah, we should be good. I hope we have enough day left. Or hope a night. Ah, uh, we probably won't have enough night. It's okay. We can at least set this thing up and have it ready to go for the next night. But yeah, we can just fill this thing up, get all of the liquid starlight we need. I mean, it shows we can go ahead and make it. We can try, but I don't think we're going to have enough starlight. That is the thing. Um, it requires a spark. And it's probably going to require something else, isn't it? Surprised it hasn't canceled already since it is becoming daytime. I've already forgotten what the other one is. Resonating gem. And that should be it. Right? I hope. If it, if it lets it go through with this amount of day, daylight, that'd be awesome. I'm hoping it does. Please do not fail on me, because that would be a lot of wasted time. It is depleting. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, it's probably canceled. For some reason, this is not showing the right one. Nope, not gonna work. Yep, as you can see, not enough time. So what I'm gonna do is cancel this. We're gonna go out. And uh, we'll get this started back up in the next day. Alright guys, so it should work this time. It should. It wanted it in a different location, with, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, it's showing like a blue line to this crystal. But I'm... Oh, that, that's, that's what it wants. But it's for some reason not accepting it. Which could be a flaw in the recipe. Oh, nope, that was done. Okay. So yeah, maybe the blue was just, I don't know. Something weird. And look what we got. A shining star. So yeah, that kind of uh, completed this quest, which uh, now allows it to have, um, I guess, nether stars without fighting the wither. Which I'm not complaining about. I would rather do it this way than fight the wither. So, next step... Is getting into this guy. So yeah, this is a little bit complicated, so it's going to take a little bit of time to explain, but uh, we're going to hop into this and get this covered real quick. First of all, I'm going to make each of these items. Um, it is the same kind of crafting stuff, so it's not going to be too difficult to kind of figure out, but they are crafted in a similar manner. We'll go over the recipes real quick, um, and then I will go ahead and, and make them, and then we'll worry about actually getting this done. So as you can see, now this one has a um, a pattern that I'm not familiar with. You can see here, there's star here, star here, star here. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to have to attune a crystal to this, this uh, celestial body, but I don't know what it is yet. So that's where I have to kind of figure this out. And I do see that there are these stars here. And I'm wondering... If this is the one. Like this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure it out. I think that this is the the star pattern that it's wanting. Right there, but I don't have the 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 parchment yet. So I'm gonna go searching for that. I'm gonna see if I can find any more, see how that actually works, and uh, I'll be back. So, as what as I what I thought, uh, it was just kind of funny. Just go back to the the, the towers that uh, I I had been leaving my blank constellations, the ones that said 
there is nothing here. <laughs> I just kind of uh, went back and grabbed all of those and then had to find a couple more towers. But here's all the extra uh, extra sheets. And as you can see, underneath my constellations, bam, Octens is the one that I need. And uh, yeah, that was the one that had the pattern in the sky that night, which is kind of cool. I also figured out how to fly this thing and uh, use it pretty efficiently. So yeah, just fly it like this and point to the ground. And you can fly pretty fast with this thing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, really fast, if you're pointing kind of downward. Like, this thing is really good. I'm not kind of surprised by it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, so I did find a bunch of the constellations, as you can see here. I did go ahead and map all of them out, at least the ones I could find. There's only one that I can't find, and I, I know what it is. Um, and you can only get it right after a solar eclipse. Um, but right now, I am attuning a rock crystal that I need over here. And yeah, I'm going to need this rock crystal right here um, for this constellation. Oct octan or octens, that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, the octens is going to be the one that we make all of our stuff in. So... Uh, like I said before, I'm going to do all this uh, crafting off camera and I'll be back so we can set this stuff up. All right, guys, so I am working on the last thing I had to craft and that is upgrading the Fosnick Resonator to the Icosic uh, Resonator, I do believe is what it says. Um, yeah, the Icosic. So we're going to be upgrading that thing and I'm working on it right now. Um, and that's the last thing. So we have everything we need here ready to go. And uh, I just need to find somewhere to build the structure for it. And uh, we're going to do that here in a little bit. But first we need to get this thing made so we know where we're going to place this thing. Um, it does run off of liquid starlight. So what I did was I actually attuned two rock crystals. And if you attune them, uh, if you tune the rock crystals, they actually produce quite a bit more liquid starlight. All right. So we now have this guy. And I think if you shift right click, it'll change. Um, it'll change what type of uh, resonator it is, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we should be able to see, I guess, different fountains like this that are spitting out. And it shows us, kind of shows us what the particles are. And uh, I think it should tell us what these... Are, but it may not that might be like starlight. I don't know. I Don't honestly know what this liquid is or what it is at all But that is where we want to place our the center of our structure. We can see that it is everywhere Which is kind of cool. Um, is there anything pretty near our base? That is a thing. I don't think so. I think the closest ones are over here and yeah I don't think I want it that close by <laughs> um if there's any back here, that would also be nice as well. Um, these are some pretty nice areas. This right here is pretty close. Oh, this one, this is perfect. Right here. I do believe it, it I, I seen it pouring up. Right? I don't think there's a way for me to know what it is specifically that is here. Um, but we should be able to set this up, so. I'm going to go ahead and break this block so I know where it's at, and uh, let's go ahead and get this structure built. Um, it is in our book, and it's in the resonance. Over here, and we go under this guy, and I think this says right here, I don't think there's any specific instructions. Two modes only works during the night, modes can be changed by shift right clicking, okay. Does it say anything about small samples, does it? Um, two modes can change because I'm, I'm I'm still kind of new to this thing. Um, to be usable to determine on the fountains might be beneficial or not. Okay. It can gather its information from adjusting the tool, be able to draw forth small samples of liquid from some random positions around the wielder. Not enough liquid to be usable, but enough to determine if the setting up the fountain might be beneficial or not. So this thing does what now? 
so we can go over here and use this thing? Like, do we have to reach the fountains before they disappear? Like, what is going on? All right, so I just got the structure built over an area where I did see it kind of spouting out. So what I did was I set my structure up uh, too high, and uh, this thing is setting on the third pillar in the middle, um, just like the book kind of shows here. And this is the structure that you want to make. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. I just put some stuff on top. Uh, what you don't want is you don't want anything in the center ring here where I'm standing. That is what you don't want. But what you do want to do is take your um, uh, narrow... I, I always say it right when I want to say it right. When I don't want to say it right, it's always messed up. Um, the narrow mantic prime. So yeah, place this thing underneath here. And yeah, it does look kind of wicked. That is a really cool texture. Um, and then we're going to pop up here. A little bit and I want to place the chalice right there awesome so I think that if I do this correctly I can place two light wells one here and one over here just kind of even things out a little bit and I think that the the they should start filling this up with with starlight if not then we do we can just bucket it in I guess for now ah it is sending it over okay so it is it is working i did see it i did see a little bit of a a spark i just wish i could get over here there we go so yeah you can see that it is sending the starlight over and now we'll have two sending starlight over so once we get starlight going this is what's going to happen Oh boy. And below us, it's going to start quarrying the area out. Like that. Oh boy. Lag. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Oh wow. Look at that going. Man, this is this is unbelievable looking. Now, we don't have anywhere while it's lagging. I hope it doesn't crash or anything. It it may crash. Nope. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, this has nowhere to pump any fluid. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get another one and be right back. All right, so I got that chalice. This has been running for a little bit. It should be sustaining itself. But as you can see, there's like particle effects. Man, this thing's really cool looking. All right, and it needs to pump this liquid somewhere. So I'm gonna set up this guy here. And hopefully it will start sending the liquid to here. And I don't... Oh, it's hydrogen. That's what this is on this planet, is hydrogen? I know what the hydrogen is now used for. Guys. This just fully unlocked... The high... This is how... Oh, man. We have to use this fluid. Which is actually... It's going to work for us. Because what I'm going to do, I'll pump out of here... Into a... Different kind of tank. Um... But yeah, this is filling up with hydrogen, guys. That's uh, that's going to be for advanced rocketry. Which is going to be getting us off of these planets. Oh, we are getting so close to getting off this planet. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is that's what everything is. Because they all look like the same color. And I don't know, maybe it's hydrogen and oxygen on this planet. But I, we should be able to make oxygen inside the... Uh, I don't know. Hydrogen in the chemical reactor. How is oxygen made? Okay, so we can't make oxygen. So I'm wondering, is oxygen also one of the other things that we find here? So this looks like hydrogen. This is probably oxygen, the bluer looking stuff. Yeah, that that's more red. And this is more blue. Even though they are similar in color. Some of them are bluer than others. This is like a bluer color. So I'm almost positive that's going to be... The oxygen. Because we're going to need both of them to make rocket fuel. Wow, this is unbelievable. Um, man, props to you, Cubis, for... Uh, 
for rocking with this, man. This is a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, all that all that hard work paid off, man. This is really good. Some good stuff. Man, I'm really enjo I'm so enjoying this pack. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool thing with Astro Sorcery. And I really like how it was uh incorporated into this. So yeah, we already have a bunch of uh bunch of this going on. And uh we can set up multiples of these. These are not really hard to make. But it's kind of cool that this quarry this whole thing out. Wow. Well, guys, <laughs> I know we've gotten pretty far. Um, and I hope you liked today's episode. We learned quite a bit. Like, I mean, we got flight. And we've also set up a fluid uh, quarry, which is kind of crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>